How to efficiently debug I2C communication using a logic analyzer. The protocol decoder in the logic analyzer software translates waveform data into readable I2C messages, making debugging much easier. Start by writing simple I2C communication code. Initialize the I2C peripheral in your microcontroller with the correct settings like clock speed, enable the peripheral and set the device address. Then, write a function to send and receive data over the I2C bus. This code will trigger the logic analyzer to capture data on the I2C bus. Once the code is ready, make the physical connections. Connect the SCL line, the serial clock line, and the SDA line, the serial data line, from your microcontroller to your I2C device, such as a sensor or EEPROM. Make sure pull-up resistors are connected to both SDA and SCL lines, typically 4.7K or 10K OHMs to VCC, to maintain proper voltage levels. Now, visualize the I2C waveforms using the logic analyzer software. Connect one logic analyzer channel to SDA and another to SCL. Also, connect the logic analyzer's ground to the system ground. With everything wired up, launch the logic analyzer software on your PC. In the software, select I2C from the protocol decoders. Assign the channels, channel 0 for SDA and channel 1 for SCL. Click start to capture data. Now run your microcontroller code to observe the I2C transmission. The logic analyzer will display waveforms in real time. Look for start and stop conditions, address phase, data bytes, and especially, acknowledgement and negative acknowledgement bits. An acknowledgement means the device received the data, while a negative acknowledgement signals a problem like an incorrect address or communication error. The start condition signals the beginning of I2C communication. Next is the address phase, which lasts 7 bits and is crucial for identifying the correct device on the bus. During this phase, you'll see the 7-bit address in hexadecimal, followed by a read or write indicator. This helps you verify if the controller is targeting the correct device. If you don't see the intended address, that's a red flag. After the address, check for the acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement bit. Acknowledgement appears at the 9th clock pulse. If SDA is low at the 9th clock, it's acknowledgement, confirming the address was recognized. If SDA is high, it's negative acknowledgement, indicating a possible issue. Other common issues include incorrect wiring, missing or wrong pull-ups, mismatched device addresses or timing problems. If you want to excel in I2C communication, embedded systems design, or build real-world electronics projects, check out our premium components, development boards, and project-based courses at FastBit Lab and FastBit EBA. We offer everything you need to accelerate your hands-on learning journey.